What's up guys? So today's video is trying to get everything done to fire up the Expo bus with the 2 liter Jetta swap. Um, I actually filmed an intro in the garage three days ago when I started dinking around with it. I'm too stupid to use a camera. So it's gone. So came down in the basement and figured I'd just tell you what's happening so just cut straight to some idiot with a radiator in his garage. So did some quick mock-up stuff. Radiator, fuel cell, all that. And have almost everything together to fire it up in the video. So here we go. You can check it out. And uh, thanks. All right, so I just want to show what's happening radiator-wise. This is a radiator from a 2000, probably six through 2010 um, turbo Jetta, so Jetta GLI or GTI. Um, going with this because I figure if it keeps a turbo car cool. Should work pretty well on this. Obviously, I'll add cooling fans because it's going to be mounted up under the frame rails here. The uh, other reason for using it is I have like five of them. So we're going to go with that and hope for the best. If it ends up not being big enough, then I will switch it out for another radiator. But that's what we're going to practice using for right now and see what happens. So first thing I do is get this tube out of the way. That's the original heater tube, what we need in that. And then I can uh, do a little bit of mocking up and see how the radiator is going to fit up in All right, so the radiator is set up in here. Temporary, obviously. Just threw a couple of bars across to support it, just to get a feel for what's happening. Um, I'm planning to do a full belly pan underneath here. Like straight underneath all of this. And then I'll also build something in front of these so they don't get caught on anything. Just make like a little skid to protect the to protect the inlet and outlet. And then it looks like the fan will have to go on the bottom. And we'll see how that goes. The other option with doing a belly pan is I can make some kind of scoop right here. I don't know how much pressure we get under the belly, but at least can get a little bit of air into it. And I think with a fan underneath, that way I can have air blowing out up and over. Um, I'm planning on belly panning these, both sides, uh, like on a, on a uh, sunroof bus, they would have a flat piece of metal here to give it more structure once the roof had a big hole cut in it. I'm going to do something similar but made out of tubing so it's actually open in there so I can still have access and also for airflow to the radiator. So we'll see. I'm hoping that radiator is big enough but if it's not we'll go to a bigger radiator or add a second one out on this side or whatever works. All right so kind of jumping around a little bit here. Engine's back out so I can do the final Fold up and torque down all of the plates, all of the bolts and nuts on the candy adapter, and then install the adapter flywheel and pilot bushing. And then in here, figure out what in the heck is going on with this transmission. Looks like the cross shaft was out at one time. Input shaft does not look the greatest, but we're going to try to make it work somehow or another. Um, also, I'm going to power wash out this whole thing, get rid of the voltage regulators, so don't need it, and rip out that stock tank, and install this fuel cell, which I'm hoping will work correctly, and just has a regular AN style pickup and return, it's 15 gallon fuel cell, which compared to 11 gallon I think stock tank and then I have been kind of trying to mock this up uh, this fuel pump which is Ford Aerostar I believe but is the correct specs for the Mark IV engine I need to source some push connect fittings for it some AN 
a or an A in fitting for this to get the inlet to that, and then the push connect for the Mark IV fuel rail. I need to get it all set up and determine if I'm just going to do a um, just regular fuel injection line or what the heck we're going to do as far as fuel lines are concerned. For right now though, I'm going to clean out this whole engine bay, get that tank out, and get the fuel cell set up in place. Alright, so we got 60 years of mouse poop and nests and raccoon droppings vacuumed and power washed out of here. Set the fuel cell up into place. Real happy with the amount of clearance that I have for my fittings. Obviously this fill is not going to work, but there's a lot of access over here on this side and the fuel filler is right there. So I think that I can just notch in right there and we'll just add a second fill. Shouldn't be an issue. And it freed up a nice space over on this side of the fuel cell where I think I may put a battery. I'm not sure what's going to go there. Might stick a battery there because there's just not a ton of room in the factory battery tray area for a normal adult size battery. So I could put a pretty decent size battery up in there for just my regular battery. And I'm considering mounting some house batteries actually underneath. So there's that done. I need to sort out what is going on with this crossbar and input shaft. I'm going to clearance this little bit so the 12 volt flywheel will go in until I decide if I'm going to do three rib or what's going to happen. But for now, it's going to get a 12 volt flywheel and a little bit of grinding to make it work. And then finish getting the engine ready and stab it back in there. So, you ever have things just not go like you planned? I had hoped to have this engine fired up by today. Today's Saturday. I'll probably put this video out on Sunday. Um, hope to have this thing running. Just didn't work out. Still dealing with fuel system stuff. Just uh, basically trying to learn from scratch how to set up a fuel system and I've never done that before so it's kind of trial and error. Learning a lot though, so that's a plus. And if it breaks down, I'll be able to fix it because I built it all. So, um, ordered up a set of fittings and wasn't quite what I needed. So I had to make a second order and also get a real fuel pressure regulator and not this Chinese junk. So, have a Holly fuel pressure regulator with return coming. Um, some different fuel lines. I was going to do a like push lock style everything and decided instead just go to regular EFI rubber fuel line just like OEM style so if something does happen along the road or out wherever we can just go to Advanced Auto O'Reilly's or whatever and get what we need so I do have the A and push connect here onto the fuel rail with uh, the fittings needed to connect fuel line to it and then Order some stuff from Jags. They actually sent me the wrong hose, so I'm gonna have to return that. A few of the fittings I ordered are gonna be irrelevant. Hopefully, I can return those because I was gonna do, like I said, push lock line to side to studio to a regular fuel line. So at least got, I think, everything that I need on the way will be here on Monday, I believe. So I can hopefully get this fuel system plumbed and get this thing fired up. I uh, still knew I need to get a throttle pedal out of one of my parts cars wired up. Uh, my buddy Chris was awesome enough to send me the wiring diagram for the 2 liter on the car side of the harness. So I can wire oxygen sensor and throttle pedal and all of that stuff up and hopefully have it be correct. So. A little bit discouraging because I hope to have it running but hey it is what it is I'm building this thing from scratch and also you saw I built that trailer this week so that bit into some shop time so thanks for watching do the whole like subscribe and all that stuff be back next week and mark my words I've said this before but mark my words this thing will be fired up and sitting on the stand running by next Friday hopefully
with any kind of luck. So, see you guys.